One big fish. One big fish. One big fish. All I wanna do is catch that one big fish. Might be a large mouth, small mouth, maybe even a brown trout. If you ever catch one, you know what I'm talking about. All you wanna do is catch that one big fish. Might be a walleye, tall guy, maybe even a red eye. If you ever catch one, then you'll know why. All you wanna do is catch that one big fish. One big fish. One big fish, one big fish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Might be a catfish, fat fish, or any other kind of fish If I only had one last wish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Yes, all I want to do is catch that one big fish all I want to do is catch that one big fish. This time on One Big Fish, we're heading to the fantastic resort community of Sagatuck to fish out on Lake Michigan for some of those monster king salmon. And we're going to be hitting Big Lake Outfitters, home of best chance charters to fish with none other than the Black Betty's captain, Captain Matt. And the first mate, TJ, has got a game plan in store for us. I got a feeling there's going to be some awful big fish. We're here with the mayor of Sagatuck himself. Mr. Barry Johnson, Your Honor, I've got a good feeling. You've got a tip for us to help us get some of those big king salmon. What is it? Well, I think today the best one to do would be a 10-inch blue spin doctor with a Mountain Dew fly. Joe, coming from the mayor. I'm going with what the mayor says. Yeah, that's right. Well, Your Honor, we appreciate it, and we'll let you know how it turns out. Thank you very much. Well, Skipper, I love to salmon fish, and I'm excited about being here, and the reports from Big Lake Outfitters is the salmon fishing is awesome right now in Saugatuck. Now, what is the strategy that we're going to use to go after these kings today? Well, we're going to run about three miles offshore to 100 foot of water. We're going to point the boat into the current, which today is going to be in a southerly direction. We're going to put our downrigger weights down to the bottom. And uh, these Big John downriggers are the what you need for bottom fishing. The, the booms on them are real sensitive. You can see when the ball's hitting on the bottom. Oh, okay. and, Great. and also, we're going to use our fish hawk probe to send me up what the current's actually doing on the bottom. We could be going three miles an hour over the top and only a mile and a half at the bottom speed. Wow. So that's real important. We're going to go right into the current, quarter away from it till we get our speed on the bottom, and then we'll go to catching them. Wow, I mean, that is so exciting. I just can't wait. These fish fight like crazy, and I can't wait to get out here. Let's go get them, man. All right. All I want to do is catch that one big fish. Might be a catfish, fat fish, or any other kind of fish If I only had one last wish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Yes, all I want to do is catch that one big fish Okay, sun ain't even up out here Cat Matt's got us all over the fish already, five minutes out here Got the first one coming in. Feels like a pretty good one. Oh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, right. First one. Alright. That's a beauty. Good job. Beautiful fish. Good work, guys. Nice job, guys. Right. Nice. Good job, Skipper, putting us on those fish real early here. Is that a pretty fish or what? Look how dark he is. Wow. As you can see, look at that sun thing. Good See what you wore you out, Joe. Well, you know. I don't get the little ones. <laughs> <laughs> we got a double going. Unbelievable. Sun's not even really up yet. Three fish are already in the boat. Now they had let this one back to Idaho somewhere. It's coming up. Joe's got one screamer. <laughs> 
There we go. In the net. All right. Got some action going here, Dad. Well, we're halfway to seeing both fish in double header here. All right. He's right back behind the boat. Here he comes. Reel right down to him and turns on the side home right from that. Look right up. Nice. Good job, guys. Right. Double header. Nice double header. <laughs> Go home on the king. Nice job, Skipper. Now, does that happen a lot out here? Or oh, what? yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. One nice fish, look at him laying in there. Hey. Hello, I'm Janet. Today, the Saugatuck Douglas Business Association is eager and excited to welcome you to Saugatuck and Douglas, Michigan. Nestled among the sand dunes on the banks of the Kalamazoo River, these two communities are often referred to as the Art Coast of the Midwest. Your day might begin here in Wicks Park as you board the hand crank chain ferry for a short ride across the river to climb the 282 steps of Mount Baldhead. Awaiting you at the top is the panorama of Oval Beach, named one of the 25 top beaches in the world. After all that exercise, dine dockside at the Mermaid Bar and Grill or grab a pizza from Morrow's Italian Restaurant before a day of shopping in both of these tranquil towns. Don't miss taking a swim in Lake Michigan, the third largest of the Great Lakes with over 1,659 miles of shoreline. Art and theater coupled with boat and suit dune rides make for a perfect fun-filled vacation spot. Come for all four seasons and stay for our incredible sunsets. Don't forget to visit our website at sogtuckdouglas.com and plan to come on your trip here very soon. You'll be glad you did. Now it's time to get geared up with Andy at Frank's Great Outdoors. Here at Frank's, targeting Big King Salmon is one thing we really like to do. You can choose from an 8-foot downrigger rod to a 10.5-foot diver rod. They're all going to work. Also, we recommend a line counter reel from Daiwa. Those are an excellent choice. They'll last you a long time. Today, we'll be running meat rigs made by Big Water Tackle. I like to run a bigger flasher, whether it be a real flasher or the Beckhold flasher. I just think that they do a little better job presenting the cut bait rig. This is a cut bait rig also offered by Big Water Tackle. In this day and age, fresh herring isn't always accessible. So Big Water Tackle come out with something called BTB, better than bait. It's a little strip, has a little color to it, some of it glows in the dark, and also absorbs scent. So you may want to get some herring oil, stink it up a little bit, and there's two keys to running this big water meat rig. The first key is this thing has to be spinning. If it's not spinning, you're not catching fish. One way to make this spin is to put your thumb on the back of the tab and just bend it a little bit. Then you want to stick it in the water, make sure it's rolling. That's the key number one. Key number two is putting a piece of meat inside there and your hook length. You want your hook length to be right at the tip of the bait. And that's the secret of the day to help you catch that one big fish. The new Minn Kota Fortrex. Its ruthless mono-arm design features an extruded aluminum backbone with uncompromising strength. A counter-tension stabilizer with no play and no give for silent operation. And lift assist for easy stow and deploy. But it doesn't just sound tough, it walks the walk by outmuscling anything in its path to help you catch more fish. Fortrex, the strong silent type with a built-in mean streak. Visual Films Outdoor Productions. With dozens of outdoor DVD and VHS titles available, you'll be able to learn all the top tricks and secrets that the pros use to put big fish in the boat. Giant Sturgeon, Goliath Grouper, Bass Crappie, 
and of course mega sized catfish. It's all here and a lot more. Visit us at www.visualfilms.com. All right, listen to that sucker going, eh? Well, that sounds a lot bigger than yours. It does sound good. <laughs> Just as soon as we turn this drag back up, it'll... Pretty good. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. I tell you what, man. People got to get out here and do some salmon fishes. It's a lot of fun. Drag screaming. Pulling like crazy. So it ain't better than that. Oh my god. It is awesome. It don't get any better than this. Oh, mine's just jumped way back there. Holy cow. Unbelievable. Another big fish. Look at that drag. Look at that drag. Wow. Is this awesome or what? He's just going, 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 going. Can't do anything on that thing. Wow. Look at this guy. He's taking off again, too. Woo. Well, we're getting a pot of big monster fish. You know, the skipper's got us out here, and, and, and he... he he did warn us. He did warn us. He said, man, you know, all these nice fish we've been getting and all of a sudden these monsters start coming, you know. Unbelievable. Wow, this guy's getting, this boy's got some, wow. some weight to him. Man. I think it's going to be a while before he's coming in. I got him pretty close. And he decided he's going back out to sea. Nice fish. Hey, Look at that. Come on. That's what I'm Come talking right about. He came off right yeah. in the net. Okay? Came off right in the net. Look at him. Nice fish. Yeah. A big boy. Look how thick that fish is. Look at it. Wow. Nope. <laughs> Reel right down the top. Up, up. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Look at that one. Yeah. Woo! Look at the good on that thing. That is one big fish. Woo! Woo! Definitely one big fish there, buddy. Wow. Good job, dude. Good job. Unbelievable. All right. Look at the it. big kahuna. What a fish, eh? 20 pounds of muscle, buddy. Wow. He, he tore me up pretty good, man. He That's a big fish. Look at that fish. Wow. That's just that's a huge. It's a huge. Boy, these kings are sure tough on equipment. In order to run a charter boat, you'd need to have the best equipment. Um, charter special reel, Shimano, medium action rod. You know, a lot of bend in it. You can really put the meat to the fish. 30 pound Tamano. You go down the swivel, barrel swivel, ball bearing swivel, 10 inch spin doctor, about a 32 inch leader to your purple mirage action fly. That's all we're using today. This this rig right here has been been good for a couple of weeks. Probably catching 10 fish a day on it. When you're salmon fishing, you're gonna need a diver. Um, we call them wire diver rigs. These these are probably gonna catch about 70% of your fish when you're fishing deep. The idea is you have, again, a roller rod. This is a Shimano Dakota 700 line counter reel. You're going to need some stainless steel braided wire. Then you hook that right on your lure Jensen diver. And about a six, six foot leader to your rotator, spin doctor, or an action fly also is what I use. And, uh, you know, we're going to we catch, catch a lot of fish on these rigs. made a couple of adjustments and, and and next thing you know zing zang zang you know pandemonium in the boat man you know but it, see that's what it takes man you got to improvise overcome and adapt and i'm gonna tell you what math all over this stuff just can't seem to leave them down for more than you know five or ten minutes as soon as he makes a change this is what happens you know gee is this fun or what man, you gotta love it you gotta yeah, love it 
<laughs> I know he loves it. Look at that. Look at those fish. Unbelievable. Man, is this fun. Let's go over here, man. Down. Come on, baby. Crank them. Yeah. Tune in next week when I land this fish, you know. This is out on the copper wire, and it was out like 400 feet, you know. And I'm, I'm only now at 135 feet. He's still way back there. Come on with me. Come on with me. He scoops the score. I think mine was a little bigger. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think mine was a little bigger. Once again, you got me. You got me. You're right. But there, hey, man, I'll tell you what. These are beautiful, beautiful Lake Michigan salmon. Wow. And, and it's not like a little one isn't a challenge. <laughs> exactly. I mean, a little one is like 13, 14, 15 pounds. You know, it's not like we're out on a dink fest walleye. Yeah. You know, big, healthy. Now, Skipper, does this happen all the time? I mean, is this a normal day? Yeah, it's a normal day in August. You bet. Wow. Yeah, all of you, yeah, you behind the couch too. Take a look inside this cooler. Look at this. Look at this. Are you ready for that? Are you ready to come over here and partake of this kind of action? Now, one thing that the Skipper did not warn us about we were supposed to get that health club membership Absolutely. and get pumped yeah. up for this stuff. And yeah, yeah, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. We get over here unprepared, and it's one drag screaming <laughs> event after another. But you know, big fish, drag screaming action. You cannot have more fun than being out here on Lake Michigan, middle of August, loving life, and then all this, all the stuff there is to see and do. Man, you got to get out here. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Absolutely. Saga Tuck is just awesome, man. Well, TJ, I, it, man, it, it looks like you have some kind of Star Wars technology over here. Now, this item is. Is this a flasher, a dodger, or what is this? This is a spin doctor made by Dreamweaver. Spin doctor, and this will rotate whatever bait we've got on this leader. I, right. I guess we've got some uh, attractors. What do they call these? This is a meat teaser. A meat teaser. And this goes finally down. This looks like, what, about uh, two, three feet? Of, well, a, of a, it's about a 36-inch leader. 36-inch leader. And then you've got an interesting contraption here. Looks like a head with a uh, hook. Yes, correct. And what is that for? It's, uh, it's for your meat. You buy your meat. Any way you want to buy it, you can buy it full herrings and cut it yourself, or you can buy pre-made strips like we do. It's already soaked in brine, comes in packages. All you meat. do is you take your meat out, slide it into your head. I like to use a toothpick, the toothpick heads. Slide it in to that hole. The toothpick sticks out on both sides. Take your pliers, put it off on both sides, and you're ready to fish. Wow. You can fish these on any kind of rod you want, downrigger, board. Or on a diver, we prefer to use it on a diver. Um, we have great success catching big fish with these. So you've got the spin doctor, give, you know, giving you the big attraction, right? Yes. And it's it's it's, it's actually making this this rotate uh, this uh, spin around it's in the water. Spin the water, yes. You got some teasers up above it, so this kind of looks like a predator fish coming up trying to eat these little bait fish. You think of everything, TJ? <laughs> you man, I like that. <laughs> You know, I tell you what, it's lunchtime. Skipper's nice enough to give us a little bit of a break from this big time workout here catching salmon. We'll, we'll be back this evening. But we're going to head out and get us something awesome to eat over at the Mermaid Bar and Grill. Check out all the cool stuff here at the Mermaid. You know, they cater from anywhere from six up to 450 people. Got an A1 menu, unbelievable food, unbelievable cuisine, and then you can do what? Eat outside, right on the water. I'm going to tell you what, it's a unique place to go. You need to check out the Mermaid Restaurant Bar and Grill. All I want to do is catch that one big fish Might be a catfish, fat fish, or any other kind of fish If I only had one last wish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Yes, all I want to do is catch that one big fish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Visual Film Outdoor Production with dozens of outdoor DVD and VHS titles available, 
you'll be able to learn all the top tricks and secrets that the pros use to put big fish in the boat. Giant sturgeon, goliath grouper, bass, crappie, and of course mega-sized catfish. It's all here and a lot more. Visit us at www.visualfilms.com. Fish are gonna need a new place to hide. Exclusive side imaging from Humminbird. Scan more water faster with 480 feet of side-to-side -side coverage and see structure detail with amazing picture-like images. Humminbird, simply, clearly, better. There's something about that moment. It's just you and the river. She's been good to you before, but this time, she's really good. Every day, the river's changing someone's life, and it could be you. So come to Little River in beautiful Manistee, where the fish are plentiful, and so are the winners. Come catch the big one. You know, when you're in the Saugatuck Douglas area, you got to check out this really cool store. It's called Del Sol. And Del Sol has got these products that on the inside of the store, everything's black and white. As soon as you get them out here in the sun, everything turns bright colors. Such as t-shirts with all kinds of different designs, all kinds of cool things at Del Sol. When it's time to plan that great vacation to Saugatuck, when it's time to get out there for some of this big monster king salmon fishing, you need to stay at the Ship and Shore Motel. Right on the water, right on the Kalamazoo River, beautiful waterfront property, and they're only a few short steps away from Big Lake Outfitters. So that way you can hook up with the Black Betty, just like we did, and get out for some of them king salmon fishing. They've got spacious rooms, great air conditioning, and all the amenities you're going to need, including that hot cup of coffee first thing in the morning before you get out there sport fishing. Back out for that evening trip, I got a funny feeling. It's ladies' night, and Shelly is gonna get knee deep in the hoop line. Are you feeling lucky, Shelly? Oh, yeah. All right. Hey, there's an evening bite been going on. The skipper said, hey, we'll go out here and play around for a couple hours. I got a feeling the skipper's got that great game plan. Shelly's ready to go. I'm ready to go. TJ, what do you think, man? Ready. Joe? Let's get him, man. All right, man, right. let's do it. All right, skipper. I'm all over, buddy. Get him. You got a good picture, Joe, or? Yeah. Well, that monster. Just doing what you told me to do. Okay, you're doing it. Man, look at that fish! Unbelievable! Wow! Holy cow! It's a monster! Man, look at that thing! Wow! Where did you see the size difference? Look at that! It takes up the whole cooler! Man! That's awesome! Holy that cool! That is one big thing. You got that right! You got that right! Woo! I want to hold it up. Man! Yeah, you want to hold it up. Right there. Unbelievable. That is one big fish. Out here with Captain Matt, I'm going to tell you what, this is an equal opportunity trip here, buddy. Awesome. She fought this thing for, for about 2.6 millenniums and got this thing in, never gave up. Awesome job. All right, TJ's. Oh, man, it's cut all the way across the boat. All the way across the boat. Look at that. Look at the power. I'll dig. I'll Look at the power on this fish. There it comes. There it comes. Here it comes, TJ. It's huge. Here it comes. Oh, man, another monster. Another monster. Another monster. Woo! Look at the wow. cut on that one, man. Wow. 
Holy cow. That's awesome. Way to go, Victoria. How does that feel? Oh, man, that's one big fish. <laughs> Dang. You know, we fished all day long. Beautiful Lake Michigan. Oh, another fish is on. I'm sitting there reeling this one in. This is the first fish on a planer board. We've had all day long. And Shelly's getting one on this downrigger rod off beside us. I've got one on this planer board. Pandemonium here in the evening. This, I mean, the morning bite was excellent. The captains were able to strategically get us in, change, improvise, overcome, and adapt, and keep us on fish up until, say, noonish. Then it just got so hot. We went in, we quit, we came back out in the evening. Well, it's a beautiful sunset here in Sagatuck. And I'm going to tell you what, the first fish ever, the whole time I've been fishing today, on a planer board. I'm anxious to see it. Get the monster! Woo! Woo! Look at the size of that bad boy! All right. Wow, look at the cut on that thing! Nice fish! Man, that fish will scare small children. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Look at that fish. Wow. Holy cow. Great. Googly moogly. Unbelievable. Look how thick that fish is. Man, he's got a bigger waistline than TJ. Unbelievable. <laughs> Look at that fish. Wow. Are you kidding me? Nice job. TJ, my man. He told me it was a monster. I, I could feel it, though, you know. <laughs> Full moon. Unbelievable. Look at this thing. I'm gonna hold him up for you. Ah, what do you think, TJ? 30, 40 pounds? Lie to me. Come on. Perfect, big, big one. On three. One, two. Keep in mind, I've been reeling for a week. Three. Ah, hello. The big kahuna. Holy cow. I don't know, new state record, I don't know. That's what Joe keeps telling me. Unbelievable. Look at this thing. Yeah, there may be a slight drop of blood involved. Got a, a, a true a true beast from the east. You know what I mean? Rumored he used to be with the WWF, all that stuff. Awesome fighting fish. And, and this was on the board. Planer board, first fish at a time. You know, all this fishing, all these monster fish finally get one on a planer board. Unbelievable. Here he is. Great googly moogly. Ah, he's still wrestling with me. Unbelievable. Look at a gut on this thing, man. You know, wow. That's all I can say, wow. Get out here with, with Matt and TJ, it's just thrills and chills. Chinese fire drill, dogs and cats living together, pandemonium, unbelievable. You know, this is just a few of the fish we caught today. Skipper, I know over 20 fish. My arms are tired. <laughs> now, did you really expect we'd be doing this good out here today? Absolutely. The confident captain. Joe, how about you, man? <laughs> this many big kings? Wow, well, this was awesome, man. You know, I know with your arthritis in your elbow, man, <laughs> I know your elbow's killing you, but It is killing me, man, but I did get that one big one, though. You're right. He did get that one big fish. Now, TJ, be honest. Did you give him a little extra love on getting that one big fish? <laughs> no, not at all. You sure he did. Well, I'll tell you what. I could not recommend a crew higher than Captain Matt and TJ out here on the Black Betty 2. I'm going to tell you what. You need to call Big Lake Outfitters and book yourself a trip on this awesome fishery. I'll tell you what, Joe. I'll be back. I will definitely be back. So for one big fish... I'm Captain Joe Raymer. And I'm Don Sweet, and we'll see you next time out on the water. Chasing that one big fish. One big fish. One big fish. One big fish. All I want to do is catch that one big fish. Might be a large mouth, small mouth, maybe even a brown trout. If you ever catch one, you know what I'm talking about. All you want to do is catch that one big fish. Might be a walleye, tall guy, maybe even a red eye. If you ever catch one, then you'll know why. All you want to do is catch that one big fish. One big fish. One big fish, one big fish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Might be a catfish, fat fish, or any other kind of fish If I only had one last wish All I want to do is catch that one big fish Yes, all I want to do is catch that one big fish all I want to do is get